Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreet.com and today we are here at the Geoni event and Geoni has planned to launch a new phone which we have right now in front of your screen. This is the Geoni S6 which is coming to Indian market and this device has great build quality and awesome design, premium material which has been used to manufacture the phone and it has got a good hardware overall. This phone is going to come to India for a price less than 20,000 rupees and most probably it is launching on 25th of August. In this video we are going to do a hands-on preview of the Geoni S6 which looks like a very premium phone. We have got the golden variant of this phone however this phone will come in other colors as well. So let's start with the hands-on video and we will start with the build quality first of all. Geoni S6 is a unibody phone, it is made up of magnesium and aluminum alloy, it is very light in weight, thickness of the phone is also very less, approximately 6.9mm is the thickness. We have got a 13 megapixel camera at the back with LED flash and you have secondary microphone for noise cancellation. At the back side you will see metal all around. On the edges you will see metal and metallic buttons with chamfered edges which does make this phone look quite premium. The overall build quality of the phone is quite nice and the premiumness is top notch. It's a unibody phone but still they have not compromised on the micro SD card functionality. However, the SIM card slot is a dual SIM hybrid tray. So you will either insert one SIM card and one micro SD memory card or you can insert two SIM card onto this phone. Front top houses the metallic earpiece, front 5 megapixel camera and proximity and embed light sensors. On the front bottom you have got touch capacitive buttons which are there on the body of the phone. They do not have any backlit LED and again they look good, you can easily see them. In terms of the look and feel and the overall profile, this is one of the most premium phones we have seen from Geoni so far. One of the differentiation which has been done on the Geoni S6 is that they have given a USB-C port for the connectivity. On the top you have a 3.5 model jack and at the bottom you have got loudspeaker. There are two loudspeakers on this phone and we have got USB-C port. So again you will have problem in terms of connectivity in case you are using a micro USB cable. But once you have an adapter you should be able to connect a micro USB cable as well with this phone. But you won't get the adapter within the package of the phone you will have to buy it separately. Let's talk about storage and the version of Android you are getting on this one. So you will get Android Lollipop 5.1 preloaded which is a good thing and a custom layer of UI which is Amigo UI. On the storage front we have got 32GB of storage on this device out of which 23GB is available and you will get approximately 1.4GB of blotware which are there. But the good thing is that Geoni has allowed to uninstall all the blotware which we have on the phone. So in case you don't like the application which are coming pre-installed you can uninstall them. Custom UI on this phone has been nicely optimized to suit the consumer needs. They have made some nice changes in the multitasking UI and some other features have been added on the phone like power saving like eco mode. You also have a green power saving mode as well so that you can save maximum power on this phone and get maximum battery backup. Display to body ratio on the Geoni S6 is approximately 78% which is going to give this phone very thin bezels and the display looks very good and easy to use with one hand. It has got a great display which is Super AMOLED 720p and it is powered with a 3100mAh battery which can give much more battery backup provided you use the power saving mode. Again in normal day to day usage it can give you around one day battery backup easily as per the information which we have got but we will test it in our full review. Let's talk about the cameras now. We tested the rear camera in low light and we got good results. The color production was nice. Details were also clear. We could capture good quality photos even in low light from the rear camera which is a 13 megapixel camera module and it is an autofocus camera. The front camera was also good in terms of capturing selfies even when it was against light. I could see myself clearly again details were not that clear but the front camera clarity was good enough for the phone which is approximately 20,000 rupees. So both the rear and front camera were doing Doing very good job. Let's talk hardware. It comes with 1.3 GHz octa core CPU, 3 GB of RAM, which is good enough to give you good performance in day to day usage. And gaming should also be good as per the chipset which we have on this phone. This is all we have as far as the first hand phone impressions of this phone. We will come up with a full review very soon. In case you have any queries and questions, please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below. You can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.